Father, help me today to secure the destiny of my daughter. Precious, yes, to die, Lord. I bring you a table. Help me to secure the destiny of my son today. Mention the name of your son. Mention the name of your daughter. Mention the name of your children. Father, help me today. And she will be coming up to lead us in the prayer section in this prayer administration. Father, help me to secure the destiny of my children. My children will not go to hell. My children will live to fulfill, to discover their purpose. My children will be meant to be for signs and wonders. My children are for glory. They are not for shame. They are, they are not for humiliation. Brethren, if I were you, I will... I will pronounce it. I will declare it. Because it is what you declare as the mother. It is what you declare as the father that God will hold on. It is not what the devil declares over your children that will come to pass. It is what you declare. And let your declaration be in alignment with what God has declared over your children. He's coming up now to lead us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Once again, we welcome you all to our fellowship today, ORPM. And we are believing God that as we have come to pray, to secure the destiny of your children, you will secure them in the name Amen. of Jesus. You will Amen. secure all the destiny of all your children in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. We welcome Amen. you from Nigeria here. We welcome also our brethren from U.S. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we are welcoming our brethren from Canada to equally log in. So over to you now, our sister, all the way from Nigeria, a woman of God, a pastor, by the grace of God. Her name, Sister Andoshie, blessing, only. Over to you, Sister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we want to say thank you for everything you have done for us. We want to thank you for the opportunity that you have given unto us to be alive today. It's by your mercies, Lord, that we are not consumed. We return all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration unto your holy name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we have come to pray for our children this morning. We pray, oh Lord God Almighty, that every prayer we are going to lay before you this morning will be accepted before you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every prayer, oh Lord, that we are going to lay before your altar this morning, that if we pray that the prayer will be accepted in the mighty name of Jesus. So in Amen. Jesus' most precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity that you've given to me once again to lead a prayer for the children this morning. I just want to exhort us with this short message. The title of my message this morning says, Children as Arrows. I'd like us to open our Bible to Psalm 127 verse 4. Psalm 127 verse 4. It says, like arrows in the hands of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Arrows, without being told, we know the meaning of arrow. Arrow, as we all know, is used as a tool for hunting and a warfare, and it is a powerful symbol that represents direction, focus, and determination. By the grace of God this morning, I'll be talking about arrow. When the Bible described children as arrows, it simply means that we are your earthly parents and we should prepare them in the way of the Lord. How do we prepare these children in the way of the Lord? We are supposed to lead them to the right things that they are to do. We should raise unique children 
that we stand out and represent Christ wherever they go. It's so unfortunate that what children are, are children that are being raised these days are children that have turned wayward. We don't know what is happening to, to, to children of this generation. We can't explain how it is happening. But the way things are happening, only God himself knows why it is like that. Children are being raised the way they like. Even some children that are raised in godly home, sometimes you find out that they turn out to be something else. But being an arrow in our hand, when God says they are arrows, it means he has given them to us to direct them, to lead them in the way that it pleases him. As arrows, they are, to, they, they, they are supposed to be, to be remembered in every area. When, when, when you are pointing an arrow to a particular thing, that means you have already focused your direction to, to, to what you want that arrow to go. That means if, if a child is an arrow, his direction, his focus should, should, should go straight. But sometimes we find out that children, they behave the way they like. It's not because they want to behave that way, but the devil, the way the devil is operating now, so many of us don't understand. The Bible says these children are arrows. What are they supposed to be? They are supposed to be the, the figurehead that people will look out to. They are supposed to be ready for battle anywhere they go. This morning, I want to I want to plead with us because the way things are happening these days, I was opportune to go to police station the day before yesterday, to listen to a case where a child stabbed his sister. Why? Because they are dragging for, for something insignificant. And when the father was called, you won't believe that the dad is a pastor of a church. Hmm. Why are things happening like that? Sometimes you just sit down and ask yourself, why are things happening like that? And you begin to wonder, and why is it that is happening in godly homes? The devil is capturing children as little as they are. This child I'm talking about, he is just 14 years. And the sister is just 12 years. Sometimes you wonder what even brought the idea of picking up a knife to stab the younger sister. The devil is going different ways just to capture the lives of children. God has given these children to us. Let's not just leave them because we are soldiers of Christ. Let's not just abandon them and face our own. Let's carry them along in everything that we do. If we are going to church, let's not say eh, tomorrow we will carry them or when it's time they will know God. No, let's carry them along. Let's allow them to study the word of God along with us. Not that we go, we will go out tomorrow and be preaching to other people's children for their lives to be okay. Meanwhile, ours in the house are suffering. No, these children, God has given them to us. We should not just abandon them and say when it is time they will know God. The best time to, to, to allow a child to know God is when they are very tender. Say, teach the child from when they are young and when they are old, they will not depart from it. Don't go out and say you are taking care of other people's children. Meanwhile, yours in the house, things are getting spoiled. As an arrow, how are we supposed to treat our children? They are, they are supposed to be focused. They are supposed to be guided. They are supposed to be directed. Don't just leave them. Or as a man, you say it is the responsibility of the mother to take care of the child. Or you say, ah, you are a pastor. Uh, whether they like it or not, your child must be good. No. The devil now targets at the children of ministers of God because he knows that they have something in them that he wants. Let's not leave them behind. These children will be held responsible for whatever they become in life. The devil is using so many children and he's focused mainly on children of God because he knows that children of the world is finished with them. He doesn't have anything to do with them. He's now focused on children that, that knows the Bible. I want to beg us as ministers of God, we should not just carry ourselves along, but carry our children along. 
because on that day, we'll be held responsible. As parents, we should bear in mind that every child is unique in his or her own way. No child is useless. No matter what that child is, don't say this one is already, is already finished. No. We should, however, be cautious of the word we use on our children. The way parents, they even talk to their children these days, they call them the name they like. Funny enough, even um, um, parents that call themselves ministers of God, they release word from their mouths. They release curses from their mouth and tomorrow they will go and be blessing such child. No, you can't curse and bless a child at the same time. It doesn't work that way. Be cautious of what comes out from your mouth. You cannot tell your child, you this useless boy, and tomorrow you go and kneel down before God and be saying, bless my child. After calling the child that the child is useless. Be cautious of what comes out from your mouth. Because the enemy is ready to, to, to hold that against you. Knowing fully well that you that knows what is good and bad, you are still using such word. Every child born into the family is born to fulfill a particular mandate for God. No child is useless, no matter how that child came, whether the child came legitimately or illegitimately. My husband used to say there is no illegitimate child, it is illegitimate parents or illegitimate mother or illegitimate father, but there is no illegitimate child. Don't use word, negative words from your mouth against a child. Because somehow those words come back to work against them. I pray this morning, no word from our mouth will work against our children in the name of Jesus. These children, they are arrows. They are they 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 are pointer. When a arrow, when when you set an arrow to target a particular thing, you see that as as soon as it's just like pointing a gun to somebody, you are targeting a person. You want to make sure that you hit the right place. That is what children are. If you train them well, they will become good in life. But if you neglect them, if you leave them to themselves, they will become wayward in life. But this morning, the Lord will not allow any of our children. The fact that we are working for God, he will not allow our children to be wayward. He will not allow the enemies to use our children against us. Because that is what the enemy is bent on doing. If we say, if I cannot get the mother, if I cannot get the father, I will get the children. If they know that you have fortified yourself, if they know that your husband or your wife, they fortify themselves, they will turn around and look at the children. And if they check and scan that the children are empty, they will go in. Don't leave those children empty. As you are fortifying yourself, as you are wearing yourself that armor, as your husband is wearing himself the armor, also be ready to wear the children their own armor. Don't just leave them empty. Because if they are empty, the enemy will strike. The enemy is not, is not laughing with, with children of God at all because they know that if they leave those children to become who they want to be, they will sweep them out from the surface of this earth and they are not ready to leave. If their mother or their father cannot do it, they will want the children to go down. The Lord will, will put everything in our children so that when the enemy comes, he will not be able to flush them out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's open our mouths as we begin to appreciate the King of Kings. Let's open our mouth and thank him for the lives of our children. Let's thank him for the life he has given unto us. Let's thank him that these children have been given unto us. They are arrows. They are our own. God has given these children unto us. And everything that he has given unto us will be held accountable for it. On the last thing, I'm going to ask you, how did you take care of these children? This one that I gave to you, how did you take care of them? Were you able to do that which I asked you to do in the lives of these children? Were you able to nurture them in the way of the Lord? Were you able to carry them along or you left them for the society to take care of? Children are not for the society. They are for you. They were given unto you. They are not societal children. 
This morning, let's beg the Lord that the Lord will take care of the children because he has given them to us and he expects us to do the needful. Open your mouth and appreciate the Lord for all he has done in the lives of our children. Let's thank him that he has given to us. Thank him for the lives of our children. Let's appreciate him for all he has done and for all he has done. Let's tell him that in any way that we have missed it, in any way that we have gone astray, in any way that we have said no to his will concerning the lives of our children, in any way that we have said no to his will concerning their lives, that the Lord should show us his mercy, that he should have mercy upon us. Lord, we ask for your mercy upon us as parents. We ask for your mercy upon our children. We ask for your mercy. Lord, show us your mercy. Father, show us your mercy. In the name of Jesus, in any way I have this to Lord, in training of those children, Lord, I ask for your mercy. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon me, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's commit these children into the hands of the Lord. Let's pray that they will not miss it in life. Let's pray that they will not miss their steps in life. Let's pray that everything that the Lord has destined for them, that it will come to manifestation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, these children will not miss it. They will not miss their, their steps in any way, oh God. Father, they will not miss their steps in the name of Jesus. They will not miss it, oh Lord, that they shall go and write. They shall take the right steps in every area of their lives in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Say, oh God, do not let my children to miss it in life. Do not let my children to miss it in life. In the name of Jesus. Father, please do not let my children to miss it in life. Let them grow in a godly way. Let them grow in a godly way. In every godly teaching that I have bestowed on them. Papa, do not let them miss it in life. In the name of Jesus. No, do not let my children to miss it in life. In the teaching that I have given on today, in the word of God that they have heard, even now that they are small and when they are old, that they let them not miss it in life. In the name of Jesus, Father, let them not miss it in life. That they let them not miss it in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let them not miss it in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, do not let my children to miss it in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, Father, in every area of their lives, Father, let them not miss their path. Let them not miss their path. Let them follow the right path to God. Let them follow the path of truth. Let them follow the path of justice. Let them follow the right path, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, let them not miss it, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them not miss it, oh God. Let them not miss it, Lord. In the name of God. Daddy, let them not miss it. Father, let them not miss it. Jehovah, let them not miss it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let them not miss it. In the name of Jesus. In every way, oh God, that I have missed it as a parent. Father, let my children not miss it. Let my children not miss it. Let my children not miss it. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Say, Father, do not let the enemy abort your plans over the lives of our children. Do not let the enemies to abort your plans over the lives of our children. In the name of Jesus, Father, do not let the enemies to abort the plans of you, O oh God, over the lives of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Papa, do not let the enemies to abort your plans for their lives. Do not let the enemies to take away your plans.
plans for their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, do not let the enemies to abort every plan, every good thing you have for them. Do not let the enemies to abort it. Let their future not be cut short. Let their glory not be destroyed. Let their future, oh God, Father, let it not be cut short. But by every plan and purpose you have for those children, every plan and purpose you have for the do not let the enemies to take charge in the name of Jesus. Father, don't let them take charge of their life. Don't let the enemies to abort your plan for their life. Every plan, every purpose that you have for them, oh God, Father, let it not be aborted. Let it not be aborted in the name of Jesus. Let it not be aborted in the mighty name of Jesus. That is everything. Every step that you have given to the children, every plan, let it be fulfilled. Let their destiny be fulfilled. Let their future be fulfilled. Let their future not be truncated by the enemy in the name of Jesus. Do not let the enemy to truncate their destiny in the name of Jesus. Let their lives not be misled by evil friends. Let their lives not be taken, taken away by evil friends in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, those children are for you, Lord. They are your own, oh Lord. I render them unto you. I give them unto you. Baba, have your way. Their life will not be shattered. Their future will not be destroyed. The enemies will not make a misprint out of their life, oh God. The enemies will not mock them. Their future will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, do not let the enemies to shatter everything that concerns those children. Oh God, my Father, I lay your children I lay them before you, Lord. But, but let their life not be shattered. Let their future not be destroyed. Let their future not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Do not let the enemies mock me. Don't let the enemies to mock me. Don't let them hurt me. And here is my God. Every plan and your purpose for their life. Let it come to fulfillment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it come to fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. In Jesus' name we are prayed. They brought a, 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 a an NYSC copper to, to a cop member to my office. The lady was just a baby. The, the young girl was just about to cross road and she was hit by a vehicle. And when we gathered our information, we were made to understand that that child, that girl is just the only daughter of her parents. Mm -hmm. The mom, the dad left them while they were still young. Why the woman was the only person that trained her up to university and she's at uh, after she served, she came to Lagos to finish her, her primary assignments. Now, while she was about to cross road, according to what they say, a friend that they crossed together, she said, the vehicle that hit her was very far from them. How it happened, they did not know. All they knew was that the vehicle just came from nowhere and hit this girl. And immediately, she passed away. A child that was trained by, by a mother, a mother that the man left them when she was very, when the child was very young. She managed to train this girl up to primary level, secondary, and then up to university level. And then from nowhere, the enemy just to face. Probably they must have trained the destiny of this child and say, this is the one that will help her mother. And say this is the one that we take the woman out of sorrow, and then they struck her with an arrow. And what happened? He died. It is not the portion of any one of us to lose our own. We cannot mm -hmm. suffer for the enemy from nowhere to come and take the life of our children. We cannot suffer and not reap the fruits of our labor over our children. It is an error, especially for children of God. It is an error to wake up in the morning and not eat the, 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 the bread that the Lord has given unto you. 
it is an error for you to walk like an elephant because the woman has trained this child. It's just for her to start walking and start taking care of her mother. But the enemy came from nowhere and caught the joy of this mother short. Say, oh God, my father, I will not bury any of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not bury any of my children. The Bible says that I will not cut our nets young. I will not bury any one of my children in the name of Jesus. Lord, I will not pray for the, the, the ground to swallow them. Father, none of my children will die. If all who are follow Allah, none of you will die. You will live to a good old age in the name of Jesus Christ. All of my children will be snatched by death. The spirit of death will not know the lives of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. When it is time for me to reap the fruit of my labor, the enemy will not snatch it away from me in the name of Jesus. I will not eat the bread of sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not eat the bread of sorrow. In the name of Jesus, the member of this platform shall eat the bread of sorrow. We will not die, but we will live to see our children's children. In the mighty name of Jesus, every plan of the enemies to control our joy, we neutralize it this morning. None of our children will die. We will not know the grave of our children. In the name of Jesus, we will not know the grave of our children. The enemy will not know the there. The ground will not swallow there. The ground will not swallow there. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are not none of you will die. You will live to fulfill destiny. You will live to fulfill prophecy. Every good plan that the Lord has in store for you is to come to manifestation. In the name of Jesus. It will come to manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will come to manifestation in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, my children will not die. They will not die. No member of my family will die. No child born in my family will die. No child born from any member of my family will die. In the name of Jesus, they will live a good old age. In the mighty name of Jesus, I seal them with the blood of Jesus. I seal them with the blood of Jesus. I seal them with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Say, oh God, my Father. Take every sickness and disease from the lives of our children. If you go to the hospital, you will understand what I'm talking about. That is a way of my little child that I took to loot sometime two months ago. You will see little, little children. Little, little children that cannot, they, they, they can't even identify their nose and their mouth. Children, three, zero, um, one month, two months, three months coming in for surgery. And then you'll be asking yourself, where is all this sickness coming from? A child that is born today came out with a sickness. How come? How manage? And then when they will call the name of the sickness, you'll be wondering, is that one even in the dictionary? Mm. Different types of diseases. Different types of, of, of sickness that you can't even mention. Say, my children will not be sick. Terminal disease will not be their portion. None of my child will be sick. In the name of Jesus Christ, none of my children will be sick. None of them will have any form of terminal disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, every form of sickness, everything called sickness, we never know any of our children. In the name of Jesus, they will never know any of our children. This is his father more. In the mighty name of Jesus, my children will not be sick. Because against every spirit of sickness, everything 
what sickness wherever it is coming from, I come against it right now. In the name of Jesus, I come against this right now. In the name of Jesus, I come against this right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, Father, my children will not be sick. Whatever is called sickness is far from my children. Sickness is far from my children. Untimely death is far from them. Sickness and diseases, terminal diseases, far from them. Lord, in the name of Jesus, and the ones that are sick, Lord, Father, begin to touch their body, begin to touch their bones, begin to touch every part that needs to be touched. In the name of Jesus, none of our children will be sick. In the name of Jesus, none of our children will be sick. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for in Jesus' name we are praying. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Say, oh God, my Father, the life of my children will not be exchanged with violence and conflict. The life of my children will not be exchanged with violence and conflict. In the name of Jesus, the lives of our children, they will not be exchanged with violence and conflict. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, the lives of our children, they will not be exchanged with violence. They will not be exchanged with violence. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, the lives of our children, Father, they will not be exchanged. There will be peace among my children. There will be love among them. There will be unity among them. There will not be conflict. There will not be violence. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will not be conflict. Oh God. There will not be violence among my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, there will be peace. There will be unity. There will be oneness. There will be love. There will be unity among them. In the name of Jesus, Father, the life of my children, it should not be exchanged with violence. And with conflicts in the name of Jesus Christ, they will not be exchanged with violence and with conflict in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, there will not be violence in my family. There will not be violence. Amongst my children, there will not be conflict in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. For in Jesus' name. We are prayed. Mm-hmm. Father, we want to say thank you for the lives of our children. We want to appreciate you for everything that you have done for them. Lord, we know that children are gifts from you and they are your heritage. We pray for all our children this morning that they shall be blessings unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall be blessings unto our families and to the society at large. In the name of Jesus, our children shall be divine instruments for healing. They shall be divine instruments, oh Lord. The enemies will not use them. They will be instruments of glory. They will be instruments of hope. They will be instruments of honor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, this morning, we decree and we declare upon the lives of our children, Lord, you will use them. You will use them mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, your word in Isaiah chapter chapter 8 verse 18 that you said that these children that you have given unto us they are for signs and for wonders father this morning we decree that our children will be for signs they will be for wonders in this generation in the name of Jesus they will be for signs they will perform signs Lord they will perform wonders just as you said will be for signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus they will not be vagabonds they will not be miscreants they will not be armed robbers. They will not be drug addicts. In the name of Jesus, Lord, they will be minister of your gospel, captains of industries, presidents, governors, lawyers, engineers, and every good thing you have in store for them. It will come to manifestation in their life. In the name of Jesus, the enemies will not make a mismeet out of their life. The enemies will not use them. The enemies will not say, yes, at last we have caught him. We have caught her. In the name of Jesus, guys, Lord, these children will do your work. They will work 
for you. They will no one serve you. That which we have imbibed in them, Baba, it will not be forgotten. Evil friends will not know them. Communications will not be their comfort. They will gather in the midst of godly children and what in the midst of bad children in the mighty name of Jesus. We seal their lives to the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, evil God will not hit them in the name of Jesus. Not they will not be mistaken for a criminal in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be anything like mistaken identity upon the lives of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be accused in what they know nothing about in the name of Jesus. Father, they will not be jailed. They will not be imprisoned for what they know nothing about in the mighty name of Jesus. Mistaken identity, oh God, will never be their portion. Lord, they will not mix up with drug addicts that will waste their lives, that will waste their future, that will lead them to their early grave in the mighty name of Jesus. This world will work for you. They will do wonders for you and for their generation in the name of Jesus. People will reckon with them and say, oh, what a God have. They are not serving a dead God, but they are serving a living God, and it will come to manifestation in their lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, it will not minister, Lord. Please, we commit these children into you, Lord. That which we have taught them, let it not be forgotten. Let the enemies not use them against themselves. In the name of Christ, thank you, everlasting Father. And the end of Lord, Baba, let it be heaven at last. Let it be heaven at last. Let it be heaven at last. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' most precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you very much, Sister Andoche. Bless me, Fakunle. Oh, what a powerful meditation. Brethren, I want to encourage you. You need to listen to this message again, over and over, and pray those prayer points into your life. For you to and you need to see the why we need to spend time to pray for our children. If you don't pray, look at what the enemy is plotting and planning. Look at the story, look at that incident. The only child, the only child, and the woman, look at how she suffered. And at the end of the day, look at she lost it. Brethren, it is not enough to send your children. To school and all that. Prayer is very, very essential. Thank you very much, my sister. This was powerful. In fact, I will make this message to go viral on the internet. Yes. Because there are families that are hurting there in the world. And please, let me encourage us. See what we are doing here. Let us extend our hand of invitation to other parents who are going through pain over their children. Let them log in. They need to hear such administration. On this platform, we want to make children <clears throat> our ministry. Give our children as a ministry, by the grace of God. By the grace of God, we're going to be spending time to be praying for our children. Because when, when we're able to make it, let me encourage us. While we're waiting for our sister, I thought that the internet was disturbing her. Already God gave me a message, you know, to dwell on. Our children are as talent. You know, that was what I was, I was to talk about and to pray, you know, and look at the message that came. Our children are as arrows. Look at God. God is, God knows why or uh, what we need at time. So brethren, I want you to know that the heartbeat of God, our children are the heartbeat of God. Our children are the heartbeat of God. I'm not preaching any message. I just want to encourage us, just an encouragement, that we need to listen. If I am going to listen to it again, by the grace of God, because I need this message. I'm touched. I am so blessed. God bless you. 
more anointing, more, more anointing. We will not regret in the name of Jesus. And I pray this morning, every one of us that are blogging, whether you are here to have children, I want to congratulate you, even our brother that is online. I want to congratulate you that you and your wife you are hearing this. In fact, this is the best time for you to even begin to pray the kind of children, the kind of children that you want from God, even before they arrive. Yes. Yes, this is the best time. And you set to live with God. Say, God, I don't want any child that will come and give me pain. I don't want any child that the devil will snatch away from me. I don't want any child that the devil will be fire because we have been told that children are as arrow. I want you to know about arrow, like she has told us. Focus, focus. I love that. Honestly, I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I'm so blessed. Okay. I join my faith with our sister who has ministered to us today. To pray for us, pray for all our children, all our children, the ones that are born, the ones that are yet to be born, all our children, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren, they will never be, be fired in life in the name of Jesus. They will never be, be fired in life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The devil will not be fire any of our children in life in the name of Jesus. Because they are they are they are as arrows in our hand. In the name of Jesus, even we ourselves, we will not misfire our children. We will not shoot them to to a, to a wrong direction in life. In the name of Jesus, and we will not allow the enemies to come and to come and shoot our arrows to a wrong direction in life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I over on the, uh, 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 I think it was it, it TikTok or so. Yeah, I don't want to mention the name because for security reasons. There in the US, that man now is having an issue with the government in the US. They arrested him for assault and you know like child trafficking and blah blah blah. Now, now where I'm going to is this: a lady was crying and regretting. She, she gave a, 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 a song to this guy, and this guy was committing incest with, with a song. And the woman was crying that she did not know that that was what this guy had in mind, sleeping with a song. Why will you give your, your song over to such a man that has in you? What has he done? She gave an arrow to someone who is misfiring that arrow, shooting that arrow in the wrong direction. I look at the, at the boy, and I saw the boy, you know, it's, uh, the boy is, is on drug, and look at Yama Yama. In the name of Jesus, we parents will not be held responsible over our children's misfortune in life by God. In the name of Jesus, we will not be judged. God will not, say, God will not judge us. God's judgment will not fall upon us by misfortune. Mis misdirecting our children in life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Father, we say 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 thank you. As arrows in our hands, Father, you are going to help us to, to shoot them to the right direction in life in the name of Jesus. And those are of our children that are already grown up, they're already independent. They already they they will say we are already an adult. Our children that are already an, that are that are adult. Father, even though we cannot reach them, you can reach that those our sons. You can reach those our daughters. Father, reach out to them. If we cannot reach them because they are already grown up, they are already adults in our hands. And whatever we say does not make sense to them again. Father, but you are their father. You created them as their creator. You are the rightful owner of the children. Father, reach out to them in the name of Jesus. 
Right okay, now, no. Father, we forbid, we refuse them to be to, 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 to go in the wrong direction in the name of Jesus because they are arrow. They must go in the right direction, as we have taught today. They must go in the right direction. Therefore, Father, we are looking up to you. We have made a mistake in the past. Father, because of the way we brought them up, we made a mistake. But right now, Father, we have repented and we have come to you. We are now handing them over to you. Father, we are asking, Baba. Redirect their life, Father, to where they should go, Father. In the name of Jesus, redirect their life, Father. Redirect their life. They are arrows in your hand. Remember, you are our Almighty Father. Father, redirect their life, Father. Let them be to focus on what that matters to them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.